Niggas getting dead the same way. Bitch, don't play with game. You don't want Lil Bro in your game way. I know you heard about Lil Bro. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jake Guap back with another video. Now, look, bro. The time is came, man. Bro, I feel like this is my time to really, you know, shine, man. New Gen 2K21 has finally came, bro. Like, and honestly, bro, this this my player builder, bro. It really goes crazy, man. Like, you can make so many demigod builds. But this build right here that I'm finna show y'all today, man. Like, this build right here, bro, it's something different, bro. Like, it's actually different. I know you can make demigods on this game, but this one is just by far different, bro. Uh, people talking about stretch playmakers and stuff like that, but this build right here is going to top all the stretch playmakers you've probably seen up to this point. It's going to top all the two-way shot creators you've seen to this point. You know, if you're new to the channel, man, hit that sub button, turn on notifications, bro. You know time to go crazy this is my first build video or uh, it's actually my first well my first 2k21 next gen video or it's current gen now but i'm gonna just go ahead and say next gen uh it's my first video on the next gen so you know trying to go crazy and run it up i'm gonna have a bunch of build videos coming out soon for all different type of players so you know let's go ahead and jump into this Alright bro, let me get something clear. You might see me looking down in my phone because I did take a picture of this build like when I first made it bro because you know you can't go back and edit builds on you know well at least I haven't figured out how at least I don't think you can because I don't think I'd be that dumb to not know how to do that. So I had to take pictures of like all the attributes because if you've seen this my player builder you'll see that the the you can mess you can misplace one little attribute and it can ruin the whole build bro like it can throw off everything so i'm just i took a picture for safe measures so if you see me looking down at my phone bro it's literally just a just a reminder of myself of which attribute is where because like i said this 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 is my player builder bro it's it's a little strange ain't gonna lie but um the position we're going power forward the hand in this i guess right no jersey number it does not matter like every other year uh we're gonna go six eight two thirty six and the wingspan is going to be let's make sure real quick it's gonna be six eight as well uh define you can you don't have to go define if you don't want to but i wouldn't define a uh, driving dunk i do remember what that was the driving dunk was on 80 and i believe the driving layup was on 85 let me confirm that real quick got my phone here no driving layups on 89 okay uh yeah you're only gonna get one finishing badge but let me explain that real quick with the finishing badges this year bro you don't you you can get contact dunks with one finishing badge and also that driving dunk right there y'all might wonder why i don't just put it to an 83 but if you go to an 83 that's going to disrupt a couple more like attributes down the line and plus you can get you you can get the first contact dunk package with an 80 driving dunk so you don't need anything higher than that your three ball is going to go to an 89 i believe i'll check in a minute and your mirror is going to go to a 95 well, if your mid range goes to a 95, I believe it's 90. 92. 92. See, I'm over here bugging. So max off both of those. And then your free throw is going to a 48. I'm sorry, bro. I usually don't do videos like this where I take pictures. But, bro, I'm going to have to start doing it with this My Player Builder. Because this My Player Builder is different. Um, ball handle will go to an 80. Speed with ball is going to be maxed out as well. Pass accuracy, you gonna move it up until you get to 11. 11, so that'd be 53, right? Yep. Um, your interior defense is gonna go to a 90. Your offensive rebound is gonna get maxed out. Defensive rebound is gonna get maxed out. Blocks gonna get maxed out. And your perimeter defense is gonna go to 70 something. Now it's gonna go to 85. Dang, yo, you gotta actually, you actually gotta have. Really have for a defense. That means something, something is a little off. Oh, it's 
deal going to a 58. But like, like I said, bro, you you misplaced one little attribute, bro. You misplaced one little attribute, with my guy, and you are screwing your whole build, bro. Like honestly, you are screwing your whole build if you if you misplace one little single attribute. Like it's just the 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 tough thing about this whole thing. It's a it's a little tapping noise I keep hearing. See like that. This one little attribute give you two right there. I don't know if y'all really noticed that, but this was low and this was high. But you can only like if you if you go up like that, you can only go up one up here. But you drop this down a little bit and you can take this all the way to 75. See, I almost messed up the build just a little bit. But these are their attributes, man. You can pause the video and look. Uh, but yeah, you can pause the video and look. But for the takeovers, for the takeovers, bro, look at these, man. For, for a power forward, bro, they can do literally anything. Like, you can literally do anything. Let me go back and just explain a little thing. You get contact dunks, because like I said, you can get a, you can get contact dunks at 80, drive and dunk. As long as your vertical is over a 55, uh, the rest of the contact dunks, you got to be a 90 overall. So, uh, you get a 92-3 ball, a 95 mid-range. You get an 80 ball handle, and yes, you can get pro dribble moves again with 80. And then your speed with ball is 76, and you're a power forward, so that's really good. Uh, your interior defense is a 90. Perimeter defense is 85. Block is a 80. 87 offensive rebound, 86 um, defensive rebound. Then you got a speed of an 80, and yeah, you got a speed of an 80. This is a power forward we're talking about, y'all. Just looking at this build, it, it goes crazy. So. What I'd say about the the takeovers is neither of these three. Don't go none of these three. I honestly wouldn't go limit. Well, I mean, limitless range would be good, but like it's it's kind of no point. But then again, it is a point. Uh, spot up precision. I'd go with that because even though you got you can dribble yourself, your mo. I don't. It just depends on the type of player you are, bro. I don't see you. Like dribbling a lot and being open limitless range, so I'd say spot up precision or something like that, because you'll be spotted up or whatever. Uh, I wouldn't go extreme clamps, perimeter badge drop, or enhanced jump shot contest, because you're a center. I mean, I know you're going to be guarding like on the perimeter sometimes, but you're not going to be guarding on the perimeter. I wouldn't say you're going to be guarding on the perimeter enough to need any three of these badges. So. And then stuff blocks, I really wouldn't go for that because that's more flashy. Unless you just want flashy, then you can go that. But like, if you're trying to like win and you know be good, I'd go with pain intimidation and spot up shooter. Um, it just depends on which one of those two you want to put first. This is how I just chose to do it. But yeah, you're going to be a two-way stretch glass cleaner, like. Overpowered, my god, it's, that's the definition of overpowered. So, I'm finna go ahead and show y'all these badges or whatever. Go ahead and get into these badges. So, you want to put posterizer on bronze because you're gonna get contact dunks, like I said. Then, for your shooting, now originally I had something different on, but I found out some crazy stuff. Hot shot, bro, put it on, please put it on. That badge is crazy, my guy. You can go with a, a bad setup like this. But one thing I can tell y'all, bro, is you don't need Hot Zone Hunter on first. Hear me out. You don't need it on first because you're not going to have any Hot Zone. So, like, if you're starting out with your badges, bro, put on D3s first. Go with D3s. Uh, I'd go with D3s first when you're starting out with your badge because it's always like a common thing bro like what badge should I start out with first and a lot of people want to do hot zone hunter but you don't have hot zone so it's no point in doing that at all but 
but that would be the, the shooting badges. For playmaking, you can go Handles for Days, Hall of Fame, Quick First Step on Gold, Anchor Breaker on Gold, and Unpluckable on Bronze. And I know it's a power forward, but guess what? Did you see his attributes, my guy? Just, yeah. For defense, you got Rebound Chaser Hall of Fame, Rim Protector Hall of Fame, Pogo Stick on Silver. You can go Chase Down on Bronze, Brick Wall on Gold, Box Hall of Fame, and then Worm on Silver. And let me explain a little bit further. So, when I was doing some experiments with this build, I found out that he's 6'8", and he's still snagging, just like old gen or, I don't know if y'all still calling it current gen or whatever, but just like on there, you still snagging, bro. Like, you are still snagging. So, 6'8", and 6'9", they might still be the wave. You know, we gotta wait until, you know, a couple patches come out and everything, but, for the most part, 6'8 and 6'9, I, I think they're gonna be the wave again. But, bro, if you're new to the channel, man, hit that sub button, turn on the notifications, bro. I'm trying to run it up and go crazy, bro. I'm trying to get y'all this build. Uh, I've been sitting here working on builds, like, since I got the game downloaded. Y'all know I uploaded a video. When this video comes out, it'll be it'll have been last night when I uploaded the video. But uploaded a video of me unboxing the Xbox Series S, and since then I, I went on, I bought 2K21 on the next gen, downloaded it, and got straight to work making builds. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna be my main build yet. I know I'm gonna make it eventually throughout the year because this build is. I want to say toxic just by the way he, what he can do at his position he toxic so I don't know what my main build is gonna be this year I want a guard but then again I got this small forward build that is really crazy too I so I think I'm gonna be going to small forward build um uh, but yeah I'm out of here y'all peace